Hello and welcome to this video for today whether you're here for the first time or you're returning hope you will enjoy Hey there guys how's it going into another one of our videos here today where we're doing another one of the commander uh, DD commander deck deck upgrade guys this is for the dungeons of death commander deck the esper deck and uh, yeah we're gonna get right into this one for today like all the other ones gonna go quickly through uh what's in the deck even if i don't pay 100 percent attention to everything that's in the deck sometimes i think a lot of the stuff is still like yes this is, should be in the deck if it's not like you know if i go oh well it's already in the deck it's like well you know it's at least a good card it should be in the deck and if it's not you know, i don't pay enough attention sometimes because we're rushing through these we've got a lot to do we've got a lot to talk about so you know i'll just try to do them as quickly as possible so sometimes some things slip by and whatnot so do forgive me if i haven't fuck up those sort of things but we're going to get right into it today and uh, have a look at this uh, deck all right over here we've got uh the uh the mtg goldfish uh deck and again it shows the price of all the cards that are in this deck uh again it shows the price of the new cards don't pay much mind to a lot of the cards that are in this deck but as far as new cards value wise because the prices are in flux again yada yada you get the you get the gist uh, but again, this is what the deck is looking like. It's, it actually looks pretty good with some of the cards in here. Uh, you know, like some of the cards are really good uh, and some of the cards aren't. You know, like, so he, oh, I was thinking about this deck and this commander and what it wants to do. I didn't know whether it, it's really a dungeon commander. That's what I was thinking about this when I was thinking about, oh, how do you upgrade this deck and make it, you know, the dungeon commander deck? Because... There are some green dungeon commander cards. There are some red dungeon command, oh, well, dungeon cards, whatever. Um, so I was just like, but the best ones or the most ones are in these colors. So I think that this is like the best commander that does stuff with this. If you want to go down this route, like unless you actually do want to just go with a five color deck like Tazri or something like that, just to be like, okay. It's five color stuff, and a lot of the stuff is like, you know, tribe members or allies or whatever, wizards, rogues, party members rather. Sorry, not tribe members. Uh, but anyway, you know, like, yeah, that was what I was thinking whether this was like the best uh, deck to, you know, like, or commander to lead the, lead the charge of this. But it's hard to go five colors if you're on a budget, and I know some people are on a budget. But if you want to do that five color, you know, deck, it's up to you. But again, I'm not going to go through too much of the, you know, stats and numbers and whatnot of this command deck. We're just going to get right into having a look at the cards that I would suggest putting in. If they're not already in, again, as I said, sometimes I miss, like, read some of this stuff and go, oh, is that actually in the deck? I didn't realize it wasn't the deck. And some cards that you might want to think about taking out as we get back into uh, this part over here. So we're going to go over here to Idiotric, have a look at our commander, Sedges of the Hidden Ways. Well, why is it hiding? It's, uh, it's hiding some ways, you know, like, uh, is Hammer in this deck? I don't know, I'm not going to look at all the cards that are and not whatever in this deck, I don't think it is. Uh, Hammer's pretty good, very cheap, Radiant Solar, what does this thing do? Uh, yeah, that's in the deck. That's fine. Uh, Nadir, fine. You know, a couple bucks, whatever, it's fine. Brolin, you know, 50 cents. He's just an uncommon. He's just fine. Goes in this deck if you're doing dungeon-y stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. Midnight Panther. Oh, that's in the deck. That seems pretty good. Uh... If you want to put some of these talismans or fetch lands or whatever, I always say, yeah, put them in if you've got them. Uh, 
Triumphant Adventurer, that seems pretty good for what this deck is doing. I think that there's a lot of graveyard loopy stuff, so Karmic Guide, Tortured Existence could be good, uh, but not uh, not if you're just going down the dungeon directly deck, but if you're going more into a like mill stroke dungeon value plan, like maybe they're good enough. Uh, what does this thing do? Blocked. Uh, alone deals combat damage to player venture into the dungeon like again just because you're in the dungeon deck and you want a dungeon and you want a venture it's just good enough it's not amazing uh it's just fine it, it can't be blocked so it's a nice little shock on a body it's fine it's not amazing but it does venture into the dungeon which is extra value for what your deck wants to do um Acerex, very good. Uh, he's, whoa, he's a fair amount of money, though. A fair amount of money. Uh, actually, Master of Death's not too bad if you're more into that Graveyard Matters stuff, stuff sort of style stuff. But, yeah, that's just fine. Uh, you definitely want a Path to Exile in this deck, Uh you know, if you can if you can find one. D Spark's amazing actually, and it's only like thirty-five sets for D Spark. So I definitely would put D Spark in there. Uh, if you have it again, if you have any of the talismans, put them in there. Uh, dungeon map, if that's not already in there, like I don't again, I'm not gonna read it again. But if it's not in there, put it in there. Absolutely. Uh, if you if you want a payoff for stuff going in and out of your graveyard a lot, so Conrad's pretty darn good. There's a couple other cards that are, like, gives you zombies, gives you things like this, but it does take you a bit away from some of the more dungeony stuff that you want to be doing with this deck. So I, I think it would be better to go in certain directions, but again, there are some other things that are in this deck that just sort of scream that this would do a lot of work so with, i do think it is pretty good um priest of fell rights isn't too bad but I'm not sure what it does like if you want to go look down the route of trying to mill yourself doom whisper isn't too bad um So, Fantasmal uh, Image can copy your stuff, which is kind of good as well. That could be good. Cat Beast. Dispel displace a Beast. It's not too bad. Uh, just for the venturing and whatnot. Uh, the, pro the the thing is, most of the cards that you're going to really want are going to come from this set and going to mostly be commons and uncommons. So it's going to be pretty cheap to, to throw a lot of these things in. Yeah, this is fine. Erratic Apprentice is just fine. Um, what I do? You do these Reveler Karmic Guide loops and whatnot. That's another thing you could do, but it does depend on what you actually want to do with it. Um, yeah, I'm just reading like what some of these cards do because I'm not I, I, like some of them. You just go whatever. What does this thing do? Planar Ally just fine. Yuntai, just fine. What does this thing do? Whenever you draw, create a thing, dies, you move. Oh, okay. Alright, whatever. That seems fine. Like, there is some stuff, like, you know, that is really good, like, in Tombs, really powerful. And there's other really powerful cards. But, you know, when you're looking for cards and you're, you're trying to find really powerful stuff that's really on, on theme, you... It does depend what you're doing, but if you're if it's if it's more on theme for you to be tutoring things in your graveyard, then absolutely. But again, like a lot of this stuff is more generic stuff, and I really want to look at stuff that's just like this is on what exactly what your deck wants to do, not like this is a free value card or whatever. 
like buried alive just fine, Bur unburial rites just fine, things like that. Demonic tutor, of course, same thing. Like a lot of these cards are really good, but still it's like, well, uh, what are you going to do? I think I don't think there's much else uh, in here that Dread Return's pretty darn good though, especially since you can just flash it back for sacrificing three things and then get things in your dungeon pretty quick. Um, Bobbles in the deck, I believe. Move a rod to the deck. Delver's Torch, just fine to get the venturing. Hmm. Like, there's a lot of stuff that is good. Again. Uh, fly, venture into the dungeon. Actually, teleportation circle and some of these other effects are quite good too because they just blink a lot of your stuff that you have ETBs of that just enter, uh, you know, re enters all your stuff. Um, I don't think there's many planeswalkers that you would really want be unless you're like using them for other value so uh, yeah again there's not probably too many utility lands i don't like De dungeon descent it exists and it does venture you into the dungeon so if you really want to play it yeah sure there's not that many mana rocks and and utility lands again that i would go through too much uh for this again so you know it, if you have some of the talismans or some of the signets, of course, they go in there and whatnot. There are a couple other cards you can consider playing. Uh, again, I'm not going to go through the lands too much. If you have dual lands, if you have shocks, if you have these lands, toss them in there. If you have fetches, toss them in there. Whatever you have that comes in untapped, you want probably. But yeah, uh, we'll go back to this. So, what are some things that Again, you want to cut. Uh, propaganda, probably not that good. It's not very good normally anyway, or not really that good. It's just, like, not enough to, to deter people. They'll just, like, blow this thing up and then be like, okay, now I'll just attack you with everything. See you, bye. You know, whatever. It can be good, but again, it's just, you know, not, not nearly enough to be uber-relevant. Uh... So, yeah, some of the tap lands, obviously, that are in this deck, are, you know, you want to take out. But otherwise, I don't think there's that much. Uh, I don't know whether you want Greaves. What do you want Greaves for? Uh, I don't think Pouch does much. Dungeon Map's in the deck, which is good. Felwell Stone's in there. What does this thing do? Do for? Nah, you probably don't want that. Not for this deck. This is for a dice deck. Uh, what does this thing do? Oh yeah, that's right. You probably don't want that. Don't want that, probably. Uh, you don't want any of this dice rolling stuff. Unbarrel rights is in the deck. Wow, cool. Uh, what is memory? I don't, I don't remember. How about that? Me the memory, I don't remember. It's not going to show me. All right. Thank you so much. Oh, it's vanished into memory. Oh, is that what it is? That one, I couldn't see what it is. Okay, alright. Blink's the thing, you draw cards equal to whatever, you discard cards equal to whatever. It comes back. Other end's not very good, you can get rid of that. You can keep it if you really want, but I don't think it's worth it. Uh, get rid of these roll dice things. Yeah, that's fine. Like, single target, like, 
Thoughtseize style stuff or whatever. Just like whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, like D Spark's already in there, which is good. Swords is actually in there, which is even better. Ashen Rider comes back from the graveyard, gets rid of something, but again, unless like there are ways to cheat it in, but I just don't think there's enough ways for you really to cheat it in, and it doesn't do enough. Like I'd take it out. Media Golem, same thing. You've just got like way, way better removal in these colors. Uh, you know, and you just don't need it. Eternal Dragon, I don't think it's worth it. Like, if you're on the, like, this is a graveyard deck and this is my part of my graveyard plan to put it in there and then cheat it out or whatnot, I just think you've got better things. So, yeah. Uh, destroy all tapped creatures. I think you can do better than that with board wipes if you want to board wipe. If you want to board wipe on a creature, maybe, yeah, sure. Sun Titan's really good. Shriek more not that uh, not that bad, but not amazing. Oh lord, what is this thing? Oh, that's the, one of the new commanders. Uh, okay, so you can loot. Uh, that's fine. Moldrift is just fine because it goes to the oh, Karmic Guides in this deck. Well, there you go. Uh, Cloud Blazer, like, you're not an ETB deck. This is the thing, you're not an ETB deck. You're a, or you are, but you aren't. Like, Cataclysm, Gearhawk, same thing. You're not, like, caring about these things enough. Solemn's just here because this is not in green, but there's still a lot of really good ramp that you could put into this deck. And unless your deck cares about creatures or artifacts, well, it does care about creatures to a degree, but again, I don't think there's enough. There's not enough, but still, it is a really good card, so it's just hard for it to be taken out. Um, a lot of the new cards are kind of cool. Hostage Shaker, no, nah, get. I don't, I don't see what you're doing with this. Like, steal somebody's thing, yeah, that's good, but unless your like whole deck cares about stealing people's stuff, it's not relevant enough for you to be doing it. Like, you're not going to take enough advantage of stealing one card from from an opponent's side enough time. It's Those cards are going to have no synergy with what you're doing. You'd rather have cards that actually have synergy with what you're doing. You don't care about what your opponents have. Like, you might have some discard and draw sort of stuff or cycle sort of style stuff, but not a lot. I don't really think you'll have that much. The Scry is okay, but again, you're not going to have that much for this. Clay Golem, nah, this, this in all these decks, get it out of here. Um, you know, Playcraft are just fine, yeah. Oppressive Stitcher gets your cards in the graveyard, but again, I don't know, unless you're going down that real graveyard play. What is with this sliver? Necrotic sliver, like, what? Sure, it, you know... Destroy something for three or whatever. Well, for six actually. But you're not caring about slivers. You don't have any other slivers except for this one, I don't think. So what's the point of it? Hammer is actually in the deck, which is good. Doom Necromance is okay. Get something back for cheap. Champion of Wits. Again, you don't really care because, like, it's sure you can get it back, but like, there's just other other good cards. Burnish Heart is always a lot of mana to actually invest to getting two lands. So I would think about taking this out for something else. Uh, Wall of Omens, just draw one card. These cantrip cards, even though you can take advantage of them and keep recurring them, I don't really think about it. It's just not enough. Uh, sacrifice it to destroy target enchantment. Like... If this said target artifact or enchantment, then I'd be a little bit more on it, because again, you can recur it, but just not enough, I don't think. Resembling Skeleton doesn't do enough, unless you've got, like, infinite loops that you can do. I don't really think it does enough for you. Again, Phantasmal Image is okay, it's a, your best thing. This is a nice, cheap little looter, um, gets you through your deck. It's okay, there are better, but still, it's okay, Not not the best, but not the worst. Powerful Strix, again, get this out of here. Like, what what are you doing with this? Unless you're, like, again, recurring it infinitely, I don't see the point.
point in in doing this so just no there's no point in that so yeah those would be some of the cards that i would consider cutting from this deck and uh, what i would consider putting in this deck um but yeah you know guys again like let me know what you guys think of of my suggestions uh you really like some of the last ones that i've done so i hope that you'll like this one too let me know what you think down in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one if you would like to further support the channel you can go on to our patreon you can also get social with us on our facebook to follow all the updates make sure you hit the like button and on our discord to get into it please leave a comment and i'll send you an invite all links are in the description i hope you have enjoyed this video here today and if you have please consider liking sharing and subscribing and i hope you will come back for another one See you then.